Hey guys, this is Ray, so it's that time again. Avid releases another update for Pro Tools 12. It seems like they're focusing on bug fixes, and that's a great thing. So this was released on Tuesday, 12-19-2017. Today is 12-20-2017. So I waited about a day. Last time I took an upgrade, I shot myself in the foot. I was in the middle of a mix, and I completely lost VCAs. And that was a huge pain in the rear. So like I said earlier, they're focusing on fixing bugs. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but there are two things that I really want to talk about. So as you can see, UI errors in performance, videos, automation, workspace and relinking, MIDI, plugin and audio suite, miscellaneous. Now in here somewhere I saw a uh, delay compensation uh, and actually here you go. I really wish Avid would raise the value of delay compensation. I do have a couple of plugins that are up to date. Delay on those plugins are huge and delay compensation is enabled to keep up. That sucks. So I have to use it under the audio suite. I honestly wish we didn't really have to deal with stuff like that. So the next two things I'm going to discuss are pretty important. They finally adding support for Mac OS uh, 10, 13, 2. The next thing, they're dropping support for Windows 7. So if any of you guys out there are still using Windows 7, this might be somewhat of a problem. They're not going to stop you from installing Pro Tools in Windows 7. They're no longer going to deal with the bugs so for example if you install windows 7 you open a session and you go to the fader window and you're missing all the fader knobs and you're missing the pans and all of that you have a gooey issue they won't care as long as it's working within the supported operating systems they won't help you or if you open your session everything looks good you press play and every 10 seconds you have a burst of white noise yeah they're not going to help you you're on your own they'll tell you you have to upgrade all i can tell you is microsoft will continue to support windows 7 i believe until 2020 And to be honest with you guys, I actually thought about downgrading. I have legacy hardware here that works fantastic, but because I'm using Windows 10, it still works, but I'm running into some issues and that kind of sucks. So to hear that they actually gonna stop supporting Windows uh, 7 kind of sucks. Now, here's the thing, this version will work without a problem, but anything that comes after this, they're not gonna test. So make sure you go to your Avid account, make sure you have an active subscription, download this, you don't need a new license. I was reading somewhere that somebody was saying that you need a new iLock license in order to run this version. You don't. The last time they did that was a couple of revisions ago. So again, as long as you have that active subscription, you're going to receive this. You'll be able to run this. If you have any questions, post in the bottom. Check the description. This is Ray, and I'm out of here.